Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry, a complete solution of the chemistry. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the hybridization in solid state. Meaning is that we are going to discuss the hybridization of the covalent compound in solid state. There are some covalent compounds which exist in gaseous state as well as in solid state. But when solid state compounds are melted and fused and experimentally when it is checked that it was found that that compound was electrically conducting in melted or in fused state. As we know that if any substance conducting current meaning is that there is a presence of ion and which type of ion there is there must be cation and there must be an ion. So what is the conclusion that the hybridization of covalent compound in their gaseous state or in solid state are not equivalent or not equal. There is a different behavior of the covalent compound in solid state and different behavior of the co covalent compound in gaseous state. So final conclusion of this discussion is that covalent compounds in solid state consist of cations and anions. So based on this discussion we are going to discuss approx 10 examples in which a compound in gaseous state shows the different hybridization and in solid state shows the word different type of hybridization. So now check first example is PCl5. When you will check the phosphorus pentachloride in gaseous state, the phosphorus pentachloride in gaseous state having the word normal geometry, which is your what trigonal bipyramidal geometry. Why? There is a what five sigma bond and there is a zero lone pair of electron. And we know that how to calculate the hybridization of the molecule. I already discussed the one uh, formula shortcut trick in the first video of this series. So first watch that video, then come to this video, then you'll understand how we are calculating the steric number. So steric number for this compound is what 5. So hybridization of this compound will be sp3d and the geometry will be what trigonal bipyramidal. But in solid state, in solid state, this PCl5 is consist of two different type of ions. So now in solid state, the hybridization of PCl5 is the actual hybridization of phosphorus in PCl4 plus and PCl6 minus. So now check. What is the hybridization of phosphorus in PCl4 plus in cation? So now from the formula here V is what? This is a steric number formula. V is what number of monovalent atom? G is what valence electron of the central atom? And C is what number of cation? There is what four monovalent atom? Chlorine is a monovalent. Valence electron of phosphorus is five. Central atom and the number of cation is one. When we put the all the values then we are getting the Hybridization of this phosphorus in this compound is what sp3. In this compound, PCl4 plus is what sp3. Now calculate the hybridization of PCl6 minus. Meaning is what we are going to calculate the hybridization of phosphorus in PCl6 minus. So again for this PCl6 minus, the steric number formula is this. How to calculate the hybridization of the anion? So now when V meaning is what same number of monovalent atom, G is what valence electron or central atom, A is what number of anion. So now check in this molecule, number of monovalent atom is 6, chlorine is a monovalent, valence electron of phosphorus is 5 and number of anion is what? 1. After putting this, we are getting the steric number 6. Steric number 6 means what? Hybridization of this molecule or this ionic species will be what? sp3d2 and the structure will be octahedral. Now example number 2, PBr5. Again this PBr5, phosphorus pentabromide, structure or geometry of the PBr5 is same in gaseous state like the PCl5. But in solid state, this PBr5 ionized differently, right? It is consists of two different type of ions. First is PBr4 plus and Br minus. Now question is that why this PBr5 is not ionizing similar to the word PCl6? Reason is that this PBr6 do not exist because of the what steric overcrowding. Why is steric overcrowding? Because the size of bromine is bigger than the word chlorine. That's why phosphorus do not form the word PBr6 minus. So this is what simple anion, this is what one cation. So now check the hybridization of this phosphorus in PBr4 plus. So again in this we will use the same formula. Now check the number of monovalent atom, bromine is what monovalent atom is 4. The valence electron of phosphorus is what 5 and the number of cation is 1. So hybridization of phosphorus in PBr4 is what sp3. Now example number 3, Pi5, phosphorus pentiodide. First thing is that it do not exist in solid state. In gaseous state, is it exists like the other phosphorus halide. So that's why it shows only one type of hybridization in gaseous state only, which is what sp3d hybridization. Now example number 5, nitrogen pentoxide N2O5. In gaseous state, the structure of N2O5 is this. Now check in this molecule, each nitrogen is surrounded by three sigma bond, one, two, three. There is no lone pair of electron on this nitrogen, so lone pair will be zero. And we know that a steric number for neutral species is what sigma plus lone pair of electron. So here, steric number is what three plus zero, so it is three. That's why hybridization of this nitrogen in this 
N2 O5 is sp2 in gaseous state. Same hybridization will be for this nitrogen N2 in N2 O5 in gaseous state sp2 hybridization. Meaning is that in N2 O5 each nitrogen is sp2 hybridized in gaseous state. But in solid state N2 O5 ionized into two different type of ions. The name of NO2, NO2 plus is what nitronium and NO3 minus is what nitrate ions. So collectively we are calling this compound in solid state nitronium nitrate. Now check the hybridization of nitrogen in NO2 plus in cation part. See oxygen is what divalent atom. So for this species the number of monovalent will be 0. Nitrogen valence electron is 5. Number of cation is 1. So hybridization will be what sp. Right. In an ion NO3 minus again number of monovalent atom will be 0. Valence electron of nitrogen is 5. Number of anion is 1. The hybridization will be what sp2. So in N2O5 the hybridization of nitrogen in NO2 plus and NO3 minus is different. So this is what nitronium nitrate. Now example number 6 N2O3. In gaseous state this N2O3 structure is like that. So now check per atom is having two sigma bond and one lone pair of electron. So steric number will be what 3. For neutral atom the steric number formula is what sigma bond plus lone pair of electron. So hybridization of this nitrogen, nitrogen number 1 in N2O3 will be what sp2. Same hybridization, other nitrogen atom N2 will show the what same type of hybridization which is what sp2. Now in solid state, this N2O3 is consist of two different type of ion. One is NO plus nitrosonium ion, another one is NO2 minus nitrite ion. So collectively we are calling this compound nitrosonium nitrate. Now check again the formula for the calculation of hybridization of cation and anion. This is the formula. So number of monovalent atom will be 0. Why? Oxygen is what divalent. The valence electron of nitrogen G stands for the what valence electron of nitrogen is 5. Number of cation is 1 and the hybridization of nitrogen in NO plus will be what sp hybridization. In NO2 minus again oxygen divalent so V will be 0 number of monovalent atom. Valence electron of nitrogen is 5. Number of anion is 1 number of negative charge is 1. So after putting all the value in this formula, this is the formula for the calculation of hybridization of an ion. So the hybridization of nitrogen P2. Now example number 7. In N2O4, when you will check this N2O4 in gaseous state, the structure, Lewis dot structure of N2O4 is this. In this structure, everything is visible. 2 sigma bond and one more sigma bond, 3 sigma bond. Lone pair of electron nitrogen 0. So the steric number will be 3. Hybridization of this nitrogen in gaseous state will be what? sp2. Each nitrogen in N2O4. Now in solid state, this N2O4 is consist of two different type of ion. One is NO plus, again nitrosodium ion and NO3 minus nitrate ion, right? So again, use the same formula for the calculation of hybridization of NO plus and NO3 minus the nitrogen hybridization. So you will find number of monovalent atom is 0, number of valence electron is 5, number of cation is 1. After putting all the values in this formula, we will get a steric number is 2, meaning is what? The hybridization is what? Sp hybridization of nitrogen in NO+. In NO3- minus, again monovalent number is 0, valence electron of nitrogen is 5, number of negative charge or anion is what? 1. Put the all the value in this formula. After putting all the values in this formula, we will get the some steric number. And according to a steric number, we can easily calculate the hybridization of nitrogen in NO3 minus. We can easily calculate the hybridization of nitrogen in NO3 minus. So, steric number is what 3. So, hybridization of nitrogen in NO3 minus will be sp2. Next example, example number 8 Cl2O6 in gaseous state. In gaseous state, when you will observe this compound, this is the Lewis dot structure. In this compound, there is a what? 1 sigma bond, 2 sigma bond, 3 sigma bond, 4 sigma bond. Each chlorine atom is forming 4 sigma bond and 2, 4, 6, 7 there is a no lone pair of electron because chlorine used all electrons for the bonding with the oxygen atom. So again a steric number is 4. Steric number 4 means what? The chlorine hybridization in this molecule is what? sp3. The same hybridization shown by the what? Another chlorine atom because condition and environment is same. But in gaseous state, it is made up of two different type of ion. One is ClO2 plus, another one is ClO4 minus. So again in ClO2, chlorine is what central atom. Oxygen is what surrounding atom. So oxygen is what divalent atom. So number of monovalent will be zero. Chlorine valence electron is seven. And number of positive charge or cationic charge is what? One. So the steric number will be what? Three. So hybridization will be what? Sp2 dehybridization of chlorine in Cl2 plus is what sp2 
and shape will be what bent shape in clo4 minus again chlorine is your what central atom monovalent atom will be zero because oxygen is divalent valence electron of chlorine is seven number of negative charge is one after putting all the value in this formula this is the formula for the calculation of steric number of anion after putting all these values we are getting the what four steric number the hybridization of chlorine in clo4 minus is sp3 and the structure will be what tetrahedral now next example example number nine i2 very interesting molecule in gaseous state iodine exists in this format now check in this bonding three lone pair of electron one sigma bond so steric number will be four why because steric number is equal to number of sigma bond plus lone pair of electron so each iodine is what sp3 hybridized in gaseous state but in solid state iodine is made up of two different type of ion one is i3 plus cation and i3 minus anion we should be very careful here in the case of iodine because in this i3 plus and i3 minus one iodine will work as a central atom and rest of the two iodine will be what surrounding atom so the number of monovalent atom in this ionic species will be two the valence electron of iodine ground state will be seven and number of positive charge will be what one right so after putting all these value in this formula we are getting the hybridization sp3 because steric number is four in i3 minus same conditions there one iodine is a central atom another iodine is what another two iodine is what surrounding atom and this iodine is with negative charge this is the structure of i3 minus right so now check number of monovalent atom how many monovalent atom two monovalent atoms are there the valence electron of iodine in ground state is seven number of negative charge is one then steric number is five hybridization of iodine in i3 minus what sp3d now example number 10 xef6 xenon hexafluoride xenon hexafluoride having some exceptional hybridization in xenon hexafluoride there is two argument we will not do that argument here now right some of the scientists are telling that the hybridization of xenon in xef6 in gaseous state will be sp3d3 because they are including the word six sigma bond and one lone pair of electron right but the shape of this molecule will be what capped octahedral because of the what presence of this lone pair of electron right the participation of this lone pair orbital in hybridization depends upon the what stereochemical activity activity of lone pair of electron which is a different discussion in some videos we will do this discussion but after having the all the argument generally it was accepted that in gaseous state this xenon hexafluoride having the hybridization sp3d2 with the what capped octahedral geometry the reason is that because of the presence of this lone pair of electron this octahedral is not look like the what perfect octahedral geometry now in solid state this xenon hexafluoride is made up of two different type of anion one is what xef5 plus and f minus again here xenon is surrounded by five fluorine atom so monovalent atom will be five xenon valence electron is eight and number of positive charges is one so when you will put all the values here then we will get the steric number six steric number six means what hybridization is what sp3d2 but this br minus is what meaningless example number 11 if5 in gaseous state the structure of iodine pentafluoride is this number of sigma bond is 1 2 3 4 5 sigma bond and lone pair is 1 so steric number is 6 sp3d2 but this structure as geometry of this molecule is not a square pyramidal perfectly it is distorted square pyramidal because of the lone pair and bond pair repulsion so this lone pair bond pair repulsion will distort the structure in solid state this if5 is consist of two different type of ion one is if4 plus another one is if6 minus now again fluorine is a monovalent atom so in io4 four monovalent atom iodine valence electron in ground state is seven number of positive charge is one so the steric number is five hybridization will be what sp3d same way in if6 minus fluorine is a monovalent atom so v will be six g will be what valence electron of iodine in ground state is seven number of negative charge is one so steric number will be seven and the hybridization of iodine in i of six minus will be sp3d3 so this was the overall discussion of the hybridization of covalent compound in their solid state with the proper explanation and with proper reasons thank you very much like share and subscribe my channel